Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Marlon Sipo Smith welcoming you to another episode of our Success by Choice Inspirational Leadership Entrepreneur webisode. I want to say thank you again for all the comments that have been posted. It really, really, really inspires me and inspires the entire community at entrepreneur.co.za when we're sharing, when we're posting comments, when we're encouraging each other. See, we're all in this together. And I just want to say thank you for stepping up. There is greatness within you. And in particular, I do want to oh, go ahead and thank Arthur uh, for you know just writing his comment. You know, things don't happen by luck or chance. Arthur had just written, he had just watched the video, our first video, when I was talking about the importance of understanding that everything happens for a reason. And even when you go through challenges, write it down in your journal, in your success entrepreneur journal, and ask yourself this question, what can I learn from this? And I want to say thank you, Arthur, because you know you said you had just gone through some challenges, and when you watched the video, it really spoke to you. Because even when you went through that challenge, you said, hey, wow, what can I learn from it? And it changed your mindset. See, C plus B equals A. Conceive plus believe equals achieve. What you conceive in your mind, what you believe in your heart, you will achieve. And so I'm really excited because that's really what it's about. Whatever question you ask yourself, you will get an answer. So I want to say thank you, Arthur. And Dina, thank you so much. It was great meeting you at the Success Summit. And for you to write as one of your comments that after meeting me and feeling my energy and my passion and hearing my presentation, that your entire perspective and attitude has been heightened, has been elevated. I really want to say thank you for that. It really, really touched me. It really did. So today I want to talk about, I know Natasha was asking, hey, how do you, what are the steps to creating your goals affirmation collage? And I want to talk to you about that because I think it's so important. Also, I have to say that Ronald even shared, you know, I love the feedback. He said, you know, what I like to do is I like to type up my goals and, and affirmations. And then I can take pictures and uh, put them into a Word document. So I really want to say thank you for that because there's not one way to do it. You know, what you need to really look at is say to yourself, okay, what works best for me? What works best for me? And so even what you see right here, you see a, a poster board that I created. And it's just, you know, it has affirmation, it has my mission statement. And so I wanted to share this with you because I want you to understand, again, there's power in the mind, the power in our thoughts. Realize this, everything that you see, everything, the chair that you're sitting in right now, the computer that you're watching right now to watch this presentation, everything happened twice, everything. Once, it happened in someone's mind, and then number two, in reality. So the power of our thoughts Thinking is important. You know, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hills. I mean, just that is a classic book on Think and Grow Rich. You know, the, your thoughts manifest. And so with that, what you see here is you see just a poster board, you know, and, and what it has is, you know, I am a force for God, a kick butt athlete, a heart to heart connector, I'm Mr. Smiles, I'm no regrets. And so I look at this, I have this up on my wall and I see it and it gets me inspired, okay? Then I also have my mission statement. My mission statement says, I, Marlon Christopher Sipo Smith, see, hear, feel, and know that the purpose of my life is to be a shining, smiling light, enjoying the daily miracles, co-creating with God, growing where I'm better than the previous day, making a difference in our global society. Woo, do you hear what I'm saying? Every time I, I, I recite that, Every time I, I just meditate on that, my mission statement, it inspires me. So I'm sharing that because I want to show you that, hey, there's many different ways that you can uh, reinforce, you know, your mission and reinforce your goals. And, you know, as um, Ronald said, you know, one of the things you can do is, yeah, you can create a Word document. I know some people, they put their goals on index cards and they carry it with them. Others, you know, put it up on the visor in their car. So... For me, I have this, I have different uh, reinforcements, if you would. And for the goals affirmation collage that I talked about last session, you know, one of the things I want to encourage you to do is, you know, just get into a, a, a quiet area, you know, maybe put on some inspirational music uh, and then, you know, have some poster boards or they can be, you know, uh, you know, smaller poster boards or large poster boards like this. And, you know, and you get some magazines, old magazines, play the music. You have your scissors, you have your glue sticks, 
And as you're going through the magazines, just words will pop out at you. Pictures will really connect with you. And then you just, you know, cut those pictures or those words or those phrases and you cut them as you're listening to music and, and you just let yourself be centered. You see, what I want you to understand is that there's greatness within you and you've got to be intentional with your time. And so by creating the goals affirmation collage, what I've done is I basically have cut out pictures and phrases that connect with me. And then I glue stick them on to these poster boards. And then what I sometimes do is I take some photographs. I take some things that I've achieved over the past and I, po I, I actually glue stick them onto the poster boards as well. See, it's a goals affirmation collage. It's great to be striving for something. It's great to be, you know, we're high achievers. You know, we have benchmarks, we have goals that we're, we're striving to achieve. But also, let's realize this. Success is a journey. It's not a destination. So by inter interspersing, if you would, pictures of previous achievements within your goals collage, with side-by-side uh, -side other goals that you're striving to achieve, your mind is now saying, wow, I achieved this in the past. Boom, I will achieve this in the future. The mind is powerful. So again, I wanted to share that with you. So I hope, Natasha, that's helped, and as well as the rest of our community at entrepreneur.co.za, I wanted to give you that distinction for how to create a goals affirmation collage. And again, you know, you might you know, create a poster board like this with your mission statement, with you know, some positive affirmations about you, and you look at it and you meditate. Because remember, C plus B equals A. What you conceive in your mind and you believe in your heart, you will achieve. Stay blessed. Oh, and listen, post a comment. And even you can post comments on or reply to other people's comments. Let's create a community where we just are encouraging each other. Because isn't that what it's all about? Remember this, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And what you put out into the world does come back to you. It's the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So I'm encouraging you, post your comment and then also post comments to other people or, or post a reply to other people that post comments so that we can all learn and grow and be inspired by each other. This is Marlon Sipo Smith reminding you there's greatness within you. Live with purpose and shine your light bright. Stay blessed.